Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me a question today. They were watching my video when I had uh, different layers, and this was on top, and then you put it to the back. And I'm hitting my cue because I have a hotkey. But to do that yourself, you just, um, if you don't want to make a hotkey, you can go to range and order and put it in front of page. Or once you're selected on it, you can go to arrange, order, put it back a page. So that's very easily seen. Let's delete these two. The, his question was, how do you know which one's what on a hairline? Because you can't really see. Well, you can go to Windows, Dockers, and open up Object Manager. And let's open up layer one in the circle is the ellipse is on the bottom of the screen. That means it's on the bottom of the order where the rectangle is on the top. So it is actually on top. I'm going to hit my hotkey Q to put it in the back of the page. And now you see these have swapped. So with knowing that, that you're, uh, rectangles on the bottom when you go to weld them and you use front minus back and remember this is your back so it's going to cut away all this well it did the opposite of what I thought that's what I thought it was going to do let's just back up here so the rectangle is on the bottom so it auto well, that's what it's doing. Yeah, this front minus the back. So we needed back minus the front. So this is the back, and we're going to take away the front. So that's the only way I know how to tell what order things are in, is if you go to, and it's not that big a deal. It's not worth opening up the docker. If you don't know which one's which, just hit the one, and if it didn't do what you wanted to do, hit the other one. That's why it's a little bit confusing on some of those things. Now, if you're just trying to get this shape, I'm a big fan of the Smart Fill tool. And voila, you got that shape right there. And then you can left click, right click, and you have that shape if that's what you're going after. Anyway, I hope it answered his question and thank you for watching.